Hi, I'm Eric Thronson with the Legislative Analyst Office, and I'm here to talk to you today about our recently released report called High Speed Rail is at a Critical Juncture. California's proposed high speed rail project would link the state's major population centers, including Sacramento, the Bay Area, the Central Valley, LA, and San Diego. The most recent cost estimate for completion of the first phase of the project, which is between San Francisco and LA Anaheim, is roughly $43 billion. In November of 2008, voters approved Proposition 1A, which allows the state to sell $9 billion in general obligation bonds to partially fund the development and construction of the high-speed rail system. In addition, the state has received roughly $3 billion from the federal government for its construction. The California High-Speed Rail Authority recently approved plans to begin construction in fall of 2012 on a portion of the system costing roughly $5.5 billion through the Central Valley that spans from north of Fresno to north of Bakersfield. The governor's proposed budget moves the project ahead as planned, meaning the legislature will likely be asked to appropriate several billions of dollars of state bond funds and federal funds next year in the 12-13 budget. In our report, we identify a number of problems that threaten the successful development of the project. These include the fact that the availability of funding necessary to complete the system is highly uncertain. Also, federal project requirements limit the state's options for development of the system. In addition, the High Speed Rail Authority's structure and staffing levels are inadequate for its changing role. And finally, the legislature lacks good information about the project for making these multi-billion dollar decisions. Given the significant challenges the project faces and the large, looming budgetary decisions, the legislature faces some difficult choices. At the root of this decision is whether the potential benefits of moving forward with the project outweigh the significant risks to the state. Our office has concluded that the legislature should only proceed with the project if two significant changes in direction occur. First, the legislature needs more time and the flexibility to make critical decisions relating to the project, which would require modifications to the federal restrictions that have been imposed on the project. Specifically, we propose that the legislature direct the High Speed Rail Authority to renegotiate the terms of the federal funding awarded to the state by the Federal Rail Administration. We believe that the state must obtain relief from the current federal restrictions on the project if it is to be developed successfully, and therefore that the legislature should proceed with the project only if this flexibility is obtained from the federal government. Following the granting of flexibility, we recommend that the legislature further direct the authority to reevaluate which segment should be constructed first based on criteria determined by the legislature such as potential statewide benefits from building a particular segment and whether a selected segment could generate the ridership and revenues to be financially viable on its own. Second, given the magnitude of the state's investment in the project, significant improvements are needed in the way both day-to-day -day and longer-term strategic decisions to manage the project are made. We recommend that the legislature pass legislation this session that shifts the responsibility for the day-to-day -day and strategic development of the project from the High Speed Rail Authority to Caltrans. We believe a new and separate division of Caltrans dedicated to the High Speed Rail project would be better positioned, if equipped with the appropriate project delivery tools, to manage the development of the system at this phase of the project. In addition, we recommend that the legislature remove the decision-making authority for the project from the High Speed Rail Authority Board to ensure that the state's overall interests including state's fiscal, the state's fiscal concerns, are fully taken into account as the project is developed. If the legislature decides to move forward with this project, we believe these changes can improve the odds that the project will be successfully developed and the state's best interests can be protected. Thanks for listening to this summary of our report. To read the full report or to read other reports or publications from our office, please visit our website at www.lao.ca.gov. Thank you.